Last night I was sitting with a few of my friends watching Sundowns beat Kaiser Chiefs. As a Pirates fan, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> but this is not about that. My friends and I started talking about our encounters with the police. Are you even a colored dude if you've never experienced police profiling? It's like if police see a color in a VW, VW suddenly stands for very worrying. Everyone I know has a story of the police in this country. Police had my friends in the highway taking off their socks, convinced my friends have got drugs on them. <laughs> Weed is not a drug, is it? My friends and I were sitting there watching Sundowns beat Kaiser Chiefs, sharing our stories of police harassment, laughing at our encounters like it's normal. And I was sitting there thinking, we should all be angry. We should be pissed, every single one of us. You watching this video, unless you think him as why, then you're already angry. And I understand if you ask me, our police should be in lockdown level five. Some give them stage five load shedding. Our police is still deeply rooted in apartheid fundamentals. They were put here to silence and invalidate black and brown people, and they haven't been reformed. We don't talk about it because we were sold this rainbow nation dream, and we bought it with money we don't even have. Rainbow nation sounds like an Edgar's account. Nathaniel Julius, who lived with Down syndrome, was shot and killed by police while eating a biscuit. A biscuit. They dropped his body at the hospital saying he was involved with gang activities, knowing very well he's a colored, and that narrative will easily be eaten up by people who only see him as that. Because that's who our police saw. They saw a suspect, a threat, a gangster, a life they could silence and invalidate, a colored, not someone's child, a loved one, a human being. Powerful stuff there. That's comedian Dylan Olifant, who is born and bred from Eldorado Park, speaking about his experience um, with the police um, and as an individual who comes very proudly from Eldorado Park. And this, of course, in a week where we saw the shooting and killing of 16-year-old Nathaniel Julius that um, led to heated exchanges on the streets of Eldorado Park since that incident happened on Wednesday. Willifant joins us now live uh, via Skype from here in Johannesburg. Uh, Adilin, I almost felt like I didn't want to call you a comedian today. That, that was um, very powerful commentary, but it came from a very, very um, heartfelt place. Why did you feel the need to speak up this week? Um, Michelle, it's been it's been a difficult thing. So, um, so El Dorado Park, I still stay I stay outside of El Dorado Park. I stay right next to Plus Pride West. It's also a colored community, and our our relationship with the police has always been fragile, and it's always been it's always been a difficult place for us in in with the police. And then I and when Nathaniel Julius happened, it just broke the. It just broke us. It, it, it made me realize like it can go further than just getting harassed in the street. It can go further than just getting beat up by the police. It can go further than that. Mm. Now, um, I know many things about you, Dylan, because I've seen you perform quite a few times. I know that you love your colorful skater socks. I know that you sport Manchester United, <laughs> but I won't judge you. But I also know that you're very proud <laughs> to come from Eldorado Park. It's one of the first things you always say in your sets. My name is Dylan Olifant, and I'm from Eldorado Park. And then you pause for some kind of reaction. <laughs> Why is it important for you to actually state that up front when you perform on various stages across the country? Because I feel like, like I've done some things on TV and I feel like I always tell people I'm from Eldorado Park so that they can see. Because when, when I see colored people on TV, we're always criminals. We're always drug dealers. We're always thugs, violent people. So when I come on stage and, I, and I'm in front of a thousand, three thousand people and I tell people I'm from Eldorado Park, I want them to see that Eldorado Park can also be the home of talent, which it is. Mm. It, can, it is the home of talent, the home of the future. And... Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, I mean, you come from Eldorado Park. There are footballers that have come from there. Former Miss South Africa's come from Eldorado Park. And yet, um, uh, in the news, in the media, um, there's a certain portrayal and a narrative of people who come from there. And even this week, very, very angry, very frustrated, desperate people. Uh, there are socioeconomic issues, and there are problems there with the police. But that's very different from the Eldorado Park that you know, the Eldorado Park where you grow up. What do you want people to know about Eldorado Park? I want people to know that Eldorado Park, the people living here, we're not all thugs, we're not all gangsters. In fact, most of us are not gangsters mm. and thugs. And also that people coming, for, coming into gangster life or thug life, uh, they, some of them do not even have a choice. We don't have, we don't have um, upward mobility. Mm. There's, no, there's no opportunities for, for the future for us. So a lot of people almost by force go into crime and they do those type of things. So I want people to see that, that there are humans behind these, behind crimes. There are humans behind, there's humans living in the Eldorado Park, you know. We've heard repeatedly from uh, members of the community there about the issues that they have with the police. It's not the first time we've heard it. We've heard it for years. And they're frustrated that their cries have not been heard. Uh, and you in that video there point to the fact that you've had, you and your friends have had run-ins with the police um, uh, for years as well. What do you think the problem is there? Why does this narrative and this relationship between uh, local community members and the police continue to be so broken. Yeah, uh, it's the it's it's the whole police are, are made to are made to be. I think the police are there for the police hasn't been changed since they haven't been reformed or completely reformed since apartheid. So and and like I say in the video, they've been put there to silence and invalidate our lives. So so they do not come out there. So when so like what happened to Nathaniel Julius, for instance. Um, they did not see a, a human being. They saw a boy. They saw they saw a gangster attack because people are from the flats, and 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 the community have this distrust of the of the police because the police are also not um, they also dealing corruption and 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 all those type of things. So now the community has 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 um, has fought back. They're fighting back from from what from what they've done from what the police has done. Yeah. Dylan Oliphant, a comedian and proudly from Eldorado Park, thank you so much for your time this morning and thank you for speaking up about your lived experience. We'll continue with more news after this. Stay with us.